Let's talk about cameras. Welcome back, everybody. Out here at the Yakinville LZ with very little wind. Uh, I'm here with Brian, who is currently testing his camera angle on a very small little black speck. <laughs> Terrifying. So I'm going to be flying the Defiant, and uh, I thought I'd take the time today to talk to you about the camera angles I've got, because I have a lot of people asking me what camera angles I've got and how I get them. So we're just gonna run through that. First and foremost is this angle. So this is my main helmet camera. It's a GoPro Hero 8. Actually, all of my cameras are GoPro Hero 8 Blacks. Uh, this one has a media mod on it, so it's got a slightly nicer microphone and a screen that I can see myself in. And uh, looks something like this. I don't use the screen while I'm flying, but I do use the media mod. The media mod lets me plug in right there a auxiliary microphone. Let me show you how that works. So on my helmet here, I've got my normal Cena uh, Bluetooth headset set up inside those earmuffs and a boom mic. And then I also have this fluff. This fluff is a microphone called a Purple Panda. It is a semi-directional, super noise-canceling, uh, actually motorcycle vlogging setup that I got turned on to. So I use that with the cable wrapped all the way up through inside the helmet and sticking out the top. So I take my meter mod GoPro 8, click it on. Really should have put this mount further down. It gets caught, caught on lines quite often and just plug my mic in. Bada bing bada boom. I now have decent audio. Um, I try to remember to only talk when I've got this facing forward, not on full power, but I forget sometimes and the microphone still, still picks up on it. My next camera angle is courtesy of a Sma Tree brand, uh, I don't know, 48 inch long selfie stick. This guy is aluminum and it locks, those are really the only two factors, but four feet out, it's got a bungee, steel cable, you can find links to all of these things in the description, uh, and I sit on it and you'll see that in flight here in a second. Then I've got the wing cam. This one gets asked a lot. This mount is called a snap mount. It is a magnetic plate that goes inside the wing. This goes outside the wing, snaps on. Leave the camera just like this, and I put it in the last cell that has an opening out on the wing. Pretty simple, find the last opening, pop the back off, slide that basically halfway down, right in the middle of the cell, click it in, good to go. This side is down because the wing droops, but uh, the GoPro's auto level for all that. The last one is a chase cam. We all know what chase cams do. This one is a PPG Smoke version 2. Uh, I've got a longer line now, and this little white bit is about uh, two feet of elastic that I've heard helps reduce shock and smooth out the video. One other thing that's super important, at least for me, is this little chest rig. It's uh, it's nothing special, but it does hold on to my stuff, including this remote and my phone in the center pocket. I've got a little wrist strap for that. Uh, radios on both sides, so plenty of room. Kind of hard to get into your pockets if you don't have one of these. About the remote, this is a Subtig brand Wi-Fi remote. It connects to four GoPros, well, my four GoPros, I think it does up to 10, and basically it lets me start, stop, and turn on off while I'm flying, even the wingtip and the chase camera. Very important for saving battery and uh, syncing up the video very nicely. So they all start at the same time, makes the editing afterwards an absolute breeze. So that's on the same kind of reel as the selfie stick camera, which is what you're viewing from right now. Um, I leave that, it's got some Velcro on the back that goes under the pouch just so it's not flopping around while I'm flying. The selfie stick, I usually stick down and through the chest strap of my harness when I take off, and I can take it out, extend it, sit on it, pop the pole out. I'll show you that. Let's get in the air. So obviously I need the helmet camera on to show you this, but uh, got to turn on my cameras here. So selfie camera, wingtip camera, the little remote I've got should do it, but I found if I turn them all on first and then turn the remote on, it connects to them much faster. 
So that's all on. Then a remote. Searching. It says here, four cameras. Ready? One of them is recording. It's the one on my head. Now smash that button and they'll all start. All right, smash the record button. Should all be working now. Whew, here we go. It's a hot one. super important so I don't need to worry about throttle. Unlocking the selfie stick here, extend it out, lock it back in, leave it on the tether, and I throw it under my leg. Ta-da! I am no Tucker Gott. I will not be doing any uh, pinching of devices. Everything's got a strap, nothing's falling off. What a nice day. And see now, I can stop my cameras. We're at a lull in the flight. Nothing's happening. Give it a pause. Brian's out here blasting around me. That's a cool fifth option that I don't really get. <laughs> Can't fly a drone and also fly air motor. So, selfie stick. I use that, or will be using that a lot more, when I've got something to say, when it makes sense to see my face. Head cam, when I'm pointing at something, I've got something of interest to look at, like a frickin' bee with four orange propellers and one blue motor. We've got wingtip cam, which I think is really neato for when I do maneuvers, like this steep right turn. Hands around, looks pretty cool. And you can see me. And, and then the chase cam. Behind me, obviously, looks out, you get to see what I see in a very wide angle. Gets the glider in the view. Looks pretty sweet. So we're gonna drop an altitude down here. I'm trying to do a foot drag. Uh, my landowner benefactor is having a bit of a cook-in. Say hi to everybody as I go past, and then I'm going to buzz off towards these fields. See, I can start and stop. Saves battery. My camera's currently at like 80%. Doing a hard right here. That was really weird. I felt Brian's prop wash just a second ago. He was so close to me, I felt it on my knees. I felt it again right there. That's so strange. All right, now some weird S-turns to get altitude down. Swing and left. Hello, small child. Look at all this room for a foot drag. Ooh, heck yeah. That would be a great chase cam view right there. We're on our way to the next field. I think it's worth uh, talking about which cameras are, ooh, which cameras are good for people who don't have a lot of experience with cameras. Uh, oddly enough, I think the wingtip is probably the best one. It's out of the way, never gets tangled on anything. You set it, forget it. I really have not noticed it affects my launches very much. I might have had one where it went right a little bit, but I haven't really noticed it. Uh, second is probably the helmet camera because it actually gets tangled on lines a lot. I've done that quite a few times. Um, yeah, it's really just the, the tangle factor. Third would probably be the chase cam, believe it or not. It can tangle in your lines, but uh, you catch it on takeoff and you're all right. I think the the sit on it selfie stick is one of the toughest ones because it requires active use while in flight 
to extend it, lock it in, sit on it, make sure you don't drop it, and stow it before you land. So if you're considering a camera, I don't know, maybe go in the one, two, three, four direction, but totally up to you. This is a really cool field that I like. Forces load up. It's a really cool feeling. Ah, right into the sun. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, there's two deer. Hello. I scared the crap out of them. <laughs> I've said this about balloons, but there really is no flight quite like this. Might not look it. That was 10 minutes from the last recording. So I actually turned all of my cameras off while I was flying. And then when I got to this next field, with more deer. Today's just deer spotting day. I, uh... <laughs> I turned the cameras back on, hit record, we're back. Remote does say low battery, because I haven't charged it in the last three times. It's something to keep in mind, it's just another thing you have to watch out for. Oh, that's a cool feeling. <laughs> like a little half pipe action. I'm not gonna slalom these trees. They are conveniently spaced for that, though. So here the trailing camera and the front camera, really the third-person view cameras, shine. You can see what I'm flying through and around. On my head, you just see what it looks like from my point of view. But up there, it looks a lot cooler. Don't let the cameras distract you, though. I am a little guilty of that sometimes. You gotta realize you're flying. You've got to uh, clear obstacles, control the aircraft safely. So it's important that you don't let it take over what you're doing. All right, let's head back to the LZ. We'll kick rocks. I wanna get a sunset flight. These videos are going to be super interesting. I'm on the phone with Brian and he thinks I'm crazy. Oh my god, I can see it from here. Brian just whipped out the biggest drone he's got. Absolutely terrifying. Come power loop me. <laughs> That is a shonker. What batteries are you using in that? 4,000 milliamp 12S. Jesus. Hey, that's terrifying. <laughs> all right, guys, the only weird thing that I've got to do with all this camera junk is stow the selfie stick, because if I landed with it, it would be longer than my leg and I would crush it. So, retract. That's why it's important that it retracts. And I stow it securely down in my crotch, unfortunately. You won't see that video. But now I can run. So, got the landing set up. Whee! That's on me. Trying to swoop it. Hey, I heard the chase cam smack me. All right, well, there you go. Cluttering up all of your gear with camera stuff. 
and you end up crashing. I'll leave it in though, because I'm honest and it happens. I refuse to let that be the last thing I do today. But this, this was the big one that was following me. There's my arm. I can't even reach the other motor from my elbow. So that's, uh, what is that like 30 inches or something? Yeah, it's, 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 it's huge. I think it's 18, 18 that's a, that's a GoPro 8. That's the same camera I'm using. <laughs> wow. Scary. <laughs> this has to be good content by now. If that launch, the humidity is starting to come up. I was pulling on the A's, wasn't quite getting overhead, so I gave it a little gas and just snapped straight to it, went to the side. That was it. But we're back. I don't edit out my problems, my mistakes. I feel like it's important. Uh, I, I feel like what we see on YouTube is a very, very cleansed very idealized kind of pair motoring and I don't want to be that it's it's realistic you saw my messed up landing you saw my messed up launch I don't have many I try not to have many but when I do you'll see them I'm not out here trying to make somebody think that I'm the next world champion I'm not just out here trying to fly my weed eater Remote coming in clutch. You didn't need to see the 10 minutes it took me to get here. This is the dam around the lake. Little areas to land in here, and obviously the dam itself. In the event of a motor out, I've got somewhere to go. Everything's strapped onto me. Not gonna lose it. There's another deer. I swear, there's another deer. Look, right there. There's, this area is fenced off, so I'm not gonna like swoop down and do a foot drag or anything. But this is about as close to the water as I can get. A little person on the ground. Another cool thing about having the wingtip camera, if it's on the right wingtip, it can get some pretty cool scenery. So when I want a nice shot, I just do one of these. I know it's on my right. If I turn left, it points down. Look at all that. Got my out behind me, by the way, and another one in front of me. I'm not flying crazy. I have places to go if the motor quits that isn't water or tree. Keep that in mind. Wow. That is a sunset. It's gonna shut up. It's a beautiful scenery. deer. That is like eight deer I've seen so far. Two of them right there at the tree line. But you all didn't come to see me talk about wildlife, did you?
That's officially sunset. 30 minutes. It's okay, my LZ is like two miles that way at worst. All right, landing redemption. Stowing the selfie stick. Trims in. We're gonna get out of the seat this time. How about that? Oh, interesting. We got some turbulence. Ha! Huh. Who would have thought? All right. We're gonna land it right in front of the landowner's party. And it's gonna suck. Don't watch! <laughs> Whoa. Ah, much better. And the chase camera didn't hit me because I kept running. Did you see that line wrap around my helmet though? That's what I was talking about. Wingtip's best. Then I'd probably take a helmet camera separate. Chase cam third, selfie stick fourth. I thought I was good at this. Okay, bye. All right, guys, cool flights. I'm Avery. This is Brian, Flying Brian FPV. Check him out. Thanks for watching. If you finish to the end, which my YouTube analytics suggests nobody does, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.